Previously, Kyle Weatherman unfortunately did not make the playoff cut. But today, NASCAR heads to Talladega Super Speedway. This is DGM's best shot. This is a wild card race where anyone can win. This is more than a race. This is Talladega. But be on the lookout for the big one and a wild finish to come. Like and subscribe to see if Kyle Weatherman can pick up a underdog win. We begin our journey with unloading the drive smart Camaro of Kyle Weatherman and DGM teammate Nick Lights. The tension is already high. Talladega is one of the most important races on the schedule. If there's a race and a place to show what your team has, it's here this weekend at Talladega. Watch as the team goes to work to prep car number 91 to be a winning contender. <laughs> Talladega isn't only known for the racing, it's known for the infield parties. This is where we can find NASCAR spotter Tal Boyd, who will be camping for this weekend's event. So Talladega is known for the infield parties, but during the day, it's a little bit calm. And we can find NASCAR spotter Tal Boyd over here camping out in his own RV. He's going to give us a little tour, talk about chilling and grilling here today from Talladega. So Tal, tell us about it. Talladega, how you feeling? It's the infield. This is the NASCAR party of the year. You're over here, calm down. You got a really cool RV. And uh, you told me you're already doing a little bit of grilling. So tell me a little bit about that oh, and yes. what you're gonna be doing this weekend. If you're here to party, you're at the right place. But I, I like to come visit with my friends. I try to stay on the calm side of things. I bring a lot of food. We grill out at night. We uh, do our racing during the day. So. Uh, at night we get to visit around and we'll put some food on the smoker and on the grill and visit and, and have a good time that way. We're going to be growing out here tonight. Tonight we're going to have chicken wings and skirt steak. Okay. TV is a little bit of a mess. I mean, hey, it's, it, it, we're camping, right? So uh, we have an outside fridge with a few, uh, just a few items in there to get, get started. <laughs> but then we have a little smoker. We'll uh, put some chicken wings on the smoker, then we have a grill, we'll finish them off with a little char, and uh, then we'll go inside here in a bit, and I'm going to get some pickled onions ready, and I'll get some uh, chicken wings ready to marinate, so after the truck race tonight, we can uh, get some food going. Going in, Talladega is, uh, I consider that my home track, so I'm from Pensacola, Florida, Talladega is where a lot of family and friends are, and a lot of people congregate down here, so it's a fun time to to just be around everybody and it's a short drive it's not far from home so it's easy to get here i'm going to make some pickled onions these are going to go on carnitas that i'll be making tomorrow Ooh. so carnitas tacos after the xfinity race is, oh is the God. plan so you get a couple of red onions some vinegar salt and sugar and it makes a quick uh, marinade to make pickled onions so that's one of my favorite favorite things so we're gonna cut them up get ready Has Ricky Stenhouse ever stopped by? Oh yeah, he's been by here quite a few times. Yeah, you never you never know who's going to show up. So that's the thing. You got to have a little extra food, uh, a few extra beverages for the evening because uh, you never know who's going to show up. People go to those concerts. I usually stay right here and I never venture out because enough people come by and it, it's fun to, to be here. 
So my wife usually does this. This is my first attempt. So let's see if it works out. So you're gonna take these sliced onions and you put them in a nice glass jar, kind of separate them a little bit so the juice gets in there. We'll take some salt, some sugar, then we take this and you mix this really well. And then you just pour that mixture right over the onions. Tonight after the truck race, it is wing night. So we have to get these wings ready and put them in a container so that as soon as the truck race is over, you can fire up the smoker and season them and throw them on. So I'm just get them out of the pack, get them ready so that uh, save a little time for later. I'm no Gordon Ramsay, so. <laughs> We will uh, do the best we can. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah so. We'll catch back up with Tal Boyd later tonight. But speaking of camping, this is where Talladega's famous Talladega Boulevard lies. The party is already getting kicked off early Friday morning. Let's take a look inside Talladega Boulevard. <laughs> Well, Friday night is a great night to get started for the weekend, and uh, it's going to be 100% absolutely Talladega party till the sun comes up. Parties all day. All day gets as wild as you think it does. Uh, and it goes until you can't stand anymore. That's that's about it. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest here. As we head back to the garage area, team number 91 is pushing their car through NASCAR inspection. Luckily, they passed and was now ready to race for tomorrow's event. But the night before the race is where things get a little bit wild and a little bit out of hand. Take a look as we get a sneak peek of NASCAR's Talladega Boulevard. Talladega! <laughs> Update, grilling and chilling here at Talladega. We've got the wings, off the smoker, off the grill, tossed in a Bartolo. Let's try it. No. Saturday morning is officially race day. Kyle knows he'll have to put it all on the line for qualifying. There is so much pressure for the Drive Smart team to perform this weekend. Kyle is off for qualifying. Watch as the 91 team approaches over 200 miles per hour and attempt to put it on the pole. Unfortunately, Kyle would have been qualified in the 35th position. But at Talladega, you can win from anywhere. And Kyle knows this. with today being such an unknown. This time by the green flag will be officially waving. Kyle is already charging for the 35th position, gaining many positions quickly. The action is heating up throughout the field. Kyle has now cracked the top 30. By lap 10, Kyle has made his way all the way to the 23rd position. Today is looking promising. I got an electrical fire in here. It keeps on cutting in and out. And just shut off. Electrical fire. 
Bunch of smoke, bunch of electrical fire. Oh yeah, big fire, big fire. You heard it there, Kyle Weatherman unfortunately has an electrical fire inside the car. The team must go to work to fix the issue. This is unfortunately costing a lot of time and putting the 91 car multiple laps down. The day is not over yet as the 91 fires back up, but unfortunately by the end of stage number one, we are now 14 laps down. Five, four, three, two, one, right here. The race is back under green. Kyle's game plan is to protect the car and let everyone up front crash out. Every crash is more positions. Only on lap 42, we got our first crash of the day. Unfortunately, this took out Kyle's teammate, Nick Lights. The fans are watching their favorite drivers go to war. As stage number two comes to an end, Kyle remains in the 38th position. But it's now time for yet again another pit stop. Five, four, three, two, one, right here. Wheel straight, foot on the right. is back waving at Talladega. This is now the final stage of the race. Watch out, with only 20 laps to go, we have a massive crash on the racetrack. Kyle fortunately survives. This will only gain him more positions. The green flag is back out with only 14 laps remaining. Kyle is running in the 36th position. But with more trouble on the racetrack, the yellow flag will fly yet again. The green flag is back out with seven laps remaining. But it's not over yet. We have another big crash on the racetrack. Kyle Weatherman once again survives and now running in the 32nd position. Talladega is dangerous. The drivers know this. But this calls for NASCAR overtime, leading to another classic Talladega finish. Driver Kyle Weatherman officially finishes in the 31st position. It wasn't the result we wanted, but next week NASCAR heads to the Charlotte Roval, where Canadian driver Alex LeBay will be put to the test with his road course skills. Like and subscribe so you don't miss any future content.